Okay, so what this video is, there are seven different mountain peaks that are distinguished and surround um, Utah County. I, I made a goal earlier this year to um, hike to the top of all of them, and that's what this video is, and I hope you like it. July 6th and it is peak number one on the list. I'm doing Spanish Fork Peak right now. I'm about half of a mile into it. I've already done this one before. This is the first one I did the last time I tried it and it's the lowest of all of the peaks. It's really hot outside. Really hot. But right now, this nice, I found this nice tree to sit on. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so bad. Ah. I did not pick the right shirt to wear. This is like 100% cotton. I ran into, I came up on this, like, there's three moms and some kids. I guess I came up on them too quietly because when I said, hey, behind you, can I get through? One of the ladies jumped like straight out of her shoes. It's not actually out of her shoes, but it's a phrase people use. And then another lady was like, it's a good thing you don't look menacing. And at first I was like, okay, I have a friendly demeanor, but what does it take to look menacing? Like, I've been doing my pull-ups. It's getting steep, and it's getting very difficult. I'm getting dizzy. I got to the saddle, and took a short break. Looked at the town. As you can see, it's all there. Normally, there's a book in here. At least, I say normally, the last time I was here, there was a book in this mailbox that you could sign, but it's not here right now. It's just a big bummer, because how are people gonna know that I made it up here? Yeah, I'm a little dizzy. I feel like I should pack more water, but, dude, do I feel accomplished? One out of seven. Update from the trail. Back about, let's say three quarters of a mile ago, I tripped and fell and hit my right knee against the ground and my right leg, it, as I was falling, it felt like it was doing some weird twisting and turning. Um, and so when I hit the ground, I was like, oh, thinking I am like four miles out from my car and I just tore my ACL. But then I got up and started walking on it. And you know how like when people get injuries, like, if you start like walking on it or just shake it off in the here and now, it feels fine. But then after you sit for a second, it feels like bloody murder. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be. I am running on it, so that's good news. My chacos have not proven to be reliable um, shoes for this trek. I can see my car. I almost tripped. What a day. What a day. Today is peak number two, um, Santa Quinn Mountain, which is in the Mount Nebo, like it's off Mount Nebo Scenic Drive. I 
I'm stopped at this little, well here, look at it. It's like a lookout. I am stopped for my halfway little snack. I had half of my sandwich too and water break. I'm like almost to the top. It's getting pretty windy. But I've been on the Lofer Mountain Trail this whole time. Lofer Mountain is that mountain right there, right behind me. And according to the guide, it is two feet higher elevation than Santa Quinn. I guess that's why it gets the trail name. But there's no real, I was thinking maybe I'd do both just because why the heck not, I'm already up here. But there's no real good trail to it. There were some people up at the top with me, which it was interesting because I've seen five people this entire like hike and four of them were at the top with me and they were super nice. One of them took my picture. I took pictures for them, but two out of seven officially checked off the, the list. For the record, I really like this trail a lot. I'm essentially walking along the ridge line. There's flowers everywhere. It's not necessarily that difficult. It has like its steep portions, definitely. But for the most part, it's pretty gradual. I'm back at this little break spot. Um, eating banana. I see my car. Thumbs up for today. Okay, peak number three this week. I have Rachel Warner with me. Hi. Any introduction you want? Uh, happy to be here. Uh, shout out to my fans. Yeah, we're on the Mount Nebo trailhead. And so far it's been looking like this. We were pretty confused when we got to the trailhead because it wasn't very well marked at all. We passed one guy, we asked him to make sure that this was the trail headed towards Mount Nebo. He said, it's supposed to. Yeah, he said it's supposed to be. Halfway through this, hike so far I mean it's felt pretty normal I think it's uh, pretty steep but also very fun we've met some friends some locals some local experts mm -hmm. um, along the way we're gonna do a Q&A later we're gonna try and do a Q&A unless I get too self-conscious we have this ahead of us which is straight up which I don't know I'm not looking forward to Rachel Day. Just kind of scrambling up this entire mountain. Got that much further to go. It's taking forever though. Uh, okay. On top of Mount Nebo, the top of Utah County. Three out of seven. Three out of seven. Three out of seven checked off. Rachel wanted to quit over there. She was like, hey, what do you say about making this the summit and not the one that's clearly taller than this one? <laughs> Instead, we spent another hour going half of a mile. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, 
I feel pretty bad, eh? Because I'm afraid of heights. And there are some steep points. So. Yeah. Steep as in Rachel's going down like that. And now we're just walking on the flatfish part. So it's much better. Bluebells and blue pine. Overall, while this hike was pretty, it's also very tiring. It was very steep in some places. Uh, very nice in others, but you know. I feel good. I'm glad we did it, but there are some sketch points that I thought were sketch because pansy. But. I think anybody would think they were sketch, but also, yeah, Rachel. I'm a pansy. Anything else? No. You guys want a sour patch? Uh, no. Oh. Thank you, though. Yeah. Okay. My tongue always feels really weird after I eat those. Yeah, I know. But me, too. I open these and I ate one, and I'm kind of like, eh. Okay, I'll have one. <laughs> yeah, and some spears, they're like... We're ha less than half of a mile into this, and we're already completely... Well, we already went the wrong way. Hike number four, Lone Peak. I'm here with my friend Scott. And getting to the trailhead was one of the biggest mysteries. This trail starts in Draper and the city of Draper gated off the road that you take to get to this trail because of either firework concerns or construction. There was a huge fire here like a month ago because somebody lit off a firework so it makes sense why they did it why they did it but we ended up having to park our car and walk a mile to the trailhead in order to even get here but so far it's been really pretty it's been really really steep this is i think probably the hardest of the seven in terms of there's a ton of elevation gained we came off just like miles like probably a mile and a half of straight uphill the entire time, probably gaining like 2,000, maybe 1,500 feet elevation, which was pretty gnarly. This looks so much different than any of the other, any of the other peaks. I've never been to Yosemite, but I think this looks a lot like Yosemite, having never been there. So maybe I never need to go now that I've been here just be more of the same. It's so pretty, but yeah, so much anxiety. I'm afraid of heights and this is not fun. There was tons of people on top of Lone Peak and so I was not about to pull this out and do it there, but now that I'm, me and Scott are a little past it, um, that's four. Four down, three to go. We're on the, that's over 50%, which is pretty cool. I just have felt a few times like maybe I could fall and die. Update, it's, it's getting really hot. And this is a lot steeper than what I remember it being on the way up. I'm getting dizzy. And I'd like to be finished with this. This is really hard. We're on the road, going to our cars. No shade whatsoever. Yeah. Lone Peak, really pretty really freaking hot and worth it who's to say hike number five with maddie hawkins 
and that thing right there, can you see it? Um, this is Provo Peak right here. It is said to be one and a half mile hike, but do you see how tall that is? It looks... Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard one and a half miles, 2,800 feet elevation gain, which both seem like not true. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it out. At the top, five done. Woo! Uh, it was really short. I actually don't think this like section of video is going to be very long because A it is less than like two miles up here, so yeah. relatively short and relatively like looking the same. And B, I neglected this camera most of the time. How did it feel, Maddie? It felt really good. It was really, really long. I mean, it was really, really <laughs> steep, but it wasn't long. Yeah. So you can do it. But we met this um, older gentleman. He was going down while we were going up and he turned 70 years old this year and for his 70th birthday he wanted to do the seven peaks and so he has done mount nebo which is over there i'm pointing at he's done mount nebo and santa quinn and provo peak and mount Campanogos. so four but so he has three left It's really steep going down. Kind of, I really need a haircut. This hike is really beautiful. And not only is the hike beautiful, but the drive on the way here is also really beautiful. It's just like a part of these mountains that you don't normally see. And I'm sure if we'd come earlier in the season, there would have been even more beautiful flowers. Um, but there still were a lot of beautiful ones this time. And the view at the top is really good. Yeah, overall, Provo Peak. Uh, I'd say, Maybe I like this the most, but I also can't tell because it was so dang short. Yeah. It was very pretty. It was a nightmare driving to here, but well worth it. Um, I'm on peak number six today, which is Cascade Mountain. Yeah, and I'm not really even on a trail right now. I'm like less than half a mile into this and the trail's just petered out. And now I'm going up this what looks to be like, a, like I feel like this should be a stream. Okay, like this, this is the trail. This is the way and look how steep it is. I'm basically just like, rock climbing up this bad boy <sighs> but <laughs> but this is ridiculous i'd say the most ridiculous thing about this is not the steepness but it is the fact that you're walking on loose rock the entire time and because of this like the loose rock every step you take up the loose rock pushes you down like half of a step. And so, like, it just makes it really difficult. Yeah, this is so confusing. Like there's no trail, essentially. Okay, I'm here. There's a stick in the geocache box to prove it, six out of seven. And, ah. Uh, that was the most chaotic hike of all of them. And like, I feel pretty good about getting to the top, but this was the only one that I thought like, maybe I'll turn around, maybe I'll not do this, maybe it isn't worth it. And it's gonna be really interesting getting down, knowing how steep it was coming up and knowing how lost it got coming up. But I don't know if you could tell, but I'm like rock climbing down this 
like free solo style and it feels really dumb and I am really ready to be done with this hike. I'm basically just like sliding down this I made it to the bottom of this like rock shoot from hell. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Cascade Mountain, I it sucked. It was the worst. No, it was the worst hike I've probably ever been on. I mean, even look at this. The actual trail is 100% overgrown, and I fell like 15 times. And I don't even think that's an exaggeration. Never ever, ever doing this again, ever. Trail number seven, Mountain Timpanogos. Beautiful. I've actually done this trail three times before. So, um, it's very popular, it's very popular in Utah. And very pretty. Started this morning, it was pretty cold outside actually. I, I normally bring my jacket with me, but today I forgot it for some reason. And today is the only day where I thought that I would really actually need it because it was like 50 degrees when I started. All right, I made it to the little basin right here. Mount Timpanogos is pretty, like it's pretty long. It may be the longest, but it's like relatively gradual on the way up. It's, it's pretty friendly. Like, like it, it's definitely a piece of work, but it's not as steep as the other peaks were. All right, made it to the saddle. That's the saddle back there. Dude, it feels so nice up here. Like, normally it's hecka windy. Normally, like, you need a windbreaker. But not today. Today, it feels like, like a fall afternoon up here. That's seven out of seven, complete. Um, at the top of Mount Timpanogos. Yeah, and there's just a bunch of people up here, some dogs, and yeah, super, oh my gosh, super stoked. This was, um, yeah, no, this was, it, it was really nice. I'm really, I'm really glad that I saved this one for last. Yeah, just super excited, super stoked. I don't know if you can tell kind of monotone, but it's pretty cool to, um, I've done it. I just think like, wow, it's been a really like peaceful last few miles. I think a lot of people who came in the morning are still a little bit up there. A lot of people who came for the sunrise are already at home and so it's just been and there's not not really anybody um starting this hike at noon or no. monday it'll be too hot but yeah wow what a time to be alive there's the little post indicating the start of the hike. There's the parking lot. Seven Peaks is finished.